oatmeal warmed by hot water from the Keurig. I smell really bad. My clothes stink. I'm taking the, uh, I guess the blue blaze around the trail, around the zoo, to get to the trail, which we'll be crossing Bear Mountain Bridge this morning. Uh, I hope I'm going the right way, because I didn't want to walk all the way down to the start of the zoo and then backtrack. Um, we'll see when I get up here what it looks like. I think I'm in the right direction though. Blue blaze. Pedestrian sign. Markers for the AT. Now how the hell am I supposed to cross this? Seriously. Don't cross the Palisades, but cross the bridge with heavy traffic. There's white blazes over there. All right, we safely made it across. Now we're gonna walk on this bridge. It's like just after 6 a.m. It's gonna be wicked hot today. And I've got about 15 to 16 miles to do. At least it's what I want to do. There's a campsite in about seven near a deli. I'm gonna stop at the deli and uh, take a break, take it from there. Well, there should be a pretty nice campsite in about 15, so. There were definitely through hikers staying in the same building as me last night. I could hear people talk about trail names and I saw a bunch of clothes hanging outside to dry. Uh, it was a nice place Bear Mountain in. Um, just what you needed. Alright, now that we've just crossed the lowest elevation on trail, we're going to climb that and from this view it looks like nothing. And we have to cross the street again. What the hell, man? So I'm not far up on the climb at all. Maybe, maybe a half mile on the climb. That's probably generous. But today, because it's so hot, it's really a, uh, like yesterday, a one step in front of the other to make it kind of day. And this climb has been really hard for multiple reasons. One, it's like straight uphill. Two, I am in long sleeves and long pants, but I choose that for various reasons, which I've probably already mentioned. Uh, it's over 70 degrees already. It's humid. There is a breeze at times, which is nice. And lastly, you know, having COVID twice in the past two years, I really am mindful of my heart rate going up and when I see it over a certain number that I'm comfortable with I gotta stop I know what it feels like when I go over that number and it's not a good feeling well, before I started this trip I went to the pulmonologist I went to the cardiologist I went to my GP I did what was I calling it world tour of doctor visits or something like that. I had a name for it. Uh, my medical world tour. <laughs> to make sure that I was, you know, because from the inside out, am I okay on the ins, theoretically okay on the inside to do this? And I got a clean bill of health all around. But I know what heart rate I am comfortable with uh, being, I know what my max is for my age and weight, whatnot, but what I'm comfortable with. I don't know that a lot of people know what heart rate they're comfortable with and, and what, if they push past a certain number, if that causes them dis, discomfort. I mean, there's, you, you're running a mile as fast as you can, there's gonna be some discomfort, but this is different. Like, you can, you can stop, you can take breaks on a climb. 
I said before, it's gonna take me all day to get where I need to, or where I wanna get going to, but. We, where am I? We're still going straight up. I mean, that does not do it justice, but we're going up. There's literally no one around me right now. And I just watched that tree fall. I heard a crack and I watched it fall. Huh. I mean, it's clearly dead on the inside, but, and it's not, it's not that long, but think, it, if it fell in the other direction, it would have fallen right at my feet. Holy crap. Interesting. Bob boards to the deli. I hope I don't have to cross another street because I can hear the traffic and it sounds ragey. Deli treasures. Someone left a dragon out here. Um, I think I've got about three miles left. And it's all uphill. It's really, it's really hot out today. It's really hot. Uh, I took a break a little while ago for about half an hour. Um, but it's only, it's 1.30. I'll be done. I probably won't be done by three. I'll be done by four. I keep stopping. I keep stopping. It's so hot. I had a harebrained idea to do a 20 miler today. Because five miles past where I want to stop, there's a shelter at a lake. It's a beach shelter. But it's just, it's just so hot. Probably won't do that. Won't be smart. Ah, almost done. So I'm at the campsite for tonight. I'm an idiot and posted up around a lot of poison ivy. Um... And I realized it, of course, as soon as I finished setting up my tent. Um, this is my shitty setup for tonight because that trekking pole is broken. And it cannot go up any further. Uh, it's not the best sight, to be honest. Um, but this is what we got. I'm in a big group campsite, part of the state park, um, there's picnic tables, you go out that way and around to the road, but I went in here amongst the ivy like an idiot, um, I just gotta be really careful when I get in and out of my tent to pee. I should be fine, as long as I keep my socks and shoes on and long pants. I took care of all the nonsense that was there. Uh, I thought about going the extra five, but because I was so slow going the last few miles and deciding whether or not I'm gonna stay or if I'm gonna go, it's, even at this point, it's after four o'clock. It would take me like three hours to get there. That's too late. Um, so here we are. This is what we have. Uh, a not great setup. I'm not totally stealth camping. There are porta potties nearby. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is gonna stop here tonight because nobody passed me today. Uh, and there is a shelter. Like I said, at a lake, five miles down the trail. So, all right, if this is it, I gotta, next, I gotta find a tree to hang my bear bag. So, uh, this will probably be the end of it for today. I'm tired and I have a broken tent pole for my trekking pole.
the end, I'm going to do one more. Um, just to show you my bear hang. So it's up on this tree, which is a pretty tall tree. It's definitely, it's got to be like six feet out. Um, I can't reach it. It looks like I can, but I can't. I still got like two, three feet, and then I hung it. I tied it to this tree. I think I did a pretty good job. Find out in the morning. I am disgusting. I'm abs. I took a shower yesterday. I promise. I am. I am filthy. I am filth. I am filth. 